Hello viewers, I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the self-pip writing task one and task two. In fact, I've come up with new letter and a new topic on the survey. Let's see what do we have here. In case if you are unable to crack the self-pip with CLB 10, that is 10 across all modules, join our online course and I'll be able to help you crack the self-pip in the first attempt. Let's see what do we have here. So I wrote this letter and survey yesterday with one of my student. Okay, the letter goes this way. Hotel stay. You want to stay at a hotel. Your email must include the following points. The purpose of your visit. Why you want to stay at that specific hotel, what kind of room you want, when are you arriving, or how long you are staying. So normally on the formal letters, you're supposed to either write dear sir or madam, but in some cases they might ask you to write to the manager. So you may also say dear manager. Okay, I am writing this letter to let you know that I am going to Toronto next month on vacation for a week stay. However, I want to stay at your esteemed hotel in four seasons and I want to book a suite at the topmost floor with a sea view. I am planning to visit Toronto on the September 10, 2024 and I will be staying till September 17, 2024. Furthermore, I have planned to go for an outing. Therefore, I request you to arrange a tour guide for sightseeing. Also, I would request you to arrange a chauffeur driven car for shopping at the nearby famous Green Orbit Mall. However, I might go for a last minute last day spontaneous ride on a ferry. So I would be glad to know a few details about that as well. I'm looking forward to hearing from you soon. Yours sincerely, Sandy. Of course, I wrote it with my student, but then I had to give my name because I told him that we should not be giving any X, Y, Z or whatever. That way you'll get a low score. Okay, survey on digitalization. Your university has decided to replace paperback books with digital books. The management has sent out an opinion survey to see what students think about digitalization of books. University survey, option A. University should buy more paperback books Option B, digitalization is a good idea. So before we could jump into the survey writing, we did a little bit of brainstorming. And what was it about? So I started by saying that, you know, we've been using paperbacks for from time immemorial, so we can go for digitalization, which will also have a backup of some sort. And with the help of cloud, we can always retrieve the data because paperbacks always have a problem with uh, natural disasters like fire. So we can always retrieve the data and use it with our students in the university. So in case of computer glitches, still the data is stored on the cloud is what I said. Even my student gave some ideas like deforestation can, can be curtailed and things like that. So it was a good one. Let's see what do we have here. Humans have been using paperback books from time immemorial, and most of the university books are printed in paperbacks. However, I opine that it will be better to digitalize all the books and save them in computer as a backup, which can be used in the future as well. To begin with, it is not wise to have paperback books as it is prone to natural disaster. We can also add like fire in case if you want. 
For instance, all our transcripts and manuscripts from the past have been destroyed due to fire. So I have included another sentence to say that. Therefore, going digital will be the best option forward and the university may use the backup information for the future reference with their students. On the other hand, in case of any glitches on the computer, the stored digital cloud backup will be a savior in time. Moreover, the professors may refer to the digital files and may take up printouts at any given point of time. Future generation can use the information or modify the data according to their requirements. In conclusion, I believe that the university must go digital, which is a good idea as it saves a lot of money and saves our planet from deforestation. Nevertheless, any decision taken by the university will be a welcome gesture according to the outcome of the survey. So if you write in this manner, then yes, you can get a CLB 10, that is CELPIP 10 on the writing. Of course, you may also include to whom it may concern, concern and say best regards at the end. and give your name as Sandy. You can write without it as well, but it is always better to write to whom it may concern and then end it with best regards and definitely give your name without which they will not give you the required CLB 10 or 11. One of my students in fact scored CELPIP 11 on the writing, which was uh, not a surprise because if you write in this way, certainly you would get a CLB 11, that is CELPIP 11 on the writing. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and smash the like button also comment below. This way I'll be able to come up with more such videos in the future. This is Sridhar signing off. See you on the other side with another video. Thanks for watching.